If you have an old computer that doesn't work anymore, you should consider getting some more use out of it by turning it into a new smart TV. To start, all you need is a computer, some type of wireless or wired controller. For the wired ones, Xbox or PS4 controllers work fine. And most importantly, you'll need a flash drive to put the software on. After you plug in the flash drive, go to this site. I've got the link in the description. You're going to go over here to this link that says Download Locations. The download should start automatically and will appear in the bottom corner of your screen. While that's downloading, you can go to this site, Rufus, and download the latest version. When that's done, open Rufus and make sure your flash drive is plugged in. Click on it here, and then go down to Boot Selection and press Free DOS. Then go over here and press Select File, and you can choose your file. You can leave these two the way they are and go down to Format Options. Here you can name your flash drive, but I'm just going to leave it what it is here. You can leave these um, at FAT32 and whatever your default setting is here. And then on the format options, you can leave all this the same and go down here and press start when you're ready. The ready bar will fill up green and when it's completely green, you can take the flash drive out and put it in your computer that you're going to be turning into a smart TV. Press F12 at this startup screen. You press F12, you should go to the boot menu and press the flash drive that you're going to be using. You're going to press enter to go into the flash drive. Mine is this one right here. Now you can use your arrow keys to scroll down to install Android x86 to hard drive. When you have that selected, press enter. If everything goes smoothly, you won't have to do anything here. Now you're going to use your arrow keys to click on the part of your computer that has the most storage to install the software. For me, it's this part at the top with 290 gigabytes. Then press do not reformat and press yes for installing bootloader grub. Press yes for this too and press yes to install the system directory as a read write. Now it should start to install which I will speed up with a time lapse. Now press enter to run Android x86. Now you're booting into Android. Depending on your device, this may take a while. So when you're done with this, set up your device and go to the Google Play Store. When you're there, go to Noblex Launcher and install the first result. After that's done, go to Settings and search for Launcher. You're going to go down and you're going to click the bottom result, Home App. Then when you click that, you're going to look for the one that says Home App and make sure it's set to Noblex Launcher. Now, you, when you go home, you'll see that your device is in Android TV mode. At this point, you can get out your controller and you can connect it to your device. I recommend a controller for Android phones so that you can go straight to Bluetooth and connect it through there without hassle. If not, you can use a wired Xbox or PlayStation controller. Now you will see that you can use the controller like it is a remote and it even works in certain games. Controller even works to open and close apps and it will still work like a controller rather than just a remote. Thanks for watching everyone, and if you want to see how to play games with split screen on this device, then tell me in the comments, and I'll see you next time. Bye.